Hey guys, in this video, I am going to introduce to a new topic, a new library called T Kinta. We are going to start with very fundamentals, and using this library, you will be able to develop applications or programs using Python. So this is going to be a very important chapter in the learning journey. So let's get started and learn everything from the basics around T Kinta. Before writing such programs, let's first understand what is tkinter in detail. So, what is tkinter? Tkinter stands with two different words. One is tk plus inter. Combination of these two words creates tkinter. Now, the question comes: What does stands for tk? Tk stands for toolkit. Okay, toolkit. And then inter stands for interface. Now, what is the meaning of this toolkit? What exactly the tools contained in this tkinter? So initially, I told you using tkinter we can develop applications. So this toolkit is nothing but different widgets. For example, buttons, text boxes, labels that you see in a, any application. Now this toolkit contains in this library called tkinter but that's not enough we need to know little more around this so tkinter is a built in library in python that helps you to create graphical user interfaces tk stands for toolkit inter stands for interface so by remembering like this you will never forget you understand what is the real meaning of tkinter using which we can build graphical user interfaces very good. Now it provides a set of tools or functions and classes that allow you to create windows, buttons, text boxes and more to interact with the user visually. Now you may not understand classes, function, don't worry. Just remember using this tkinter we will be able to build an application. An application means which will have a window, which will have few buttons, which can have text boxes and many more things. As you learned, this library is a default library. That means I don't have to install anything. I have to simply say import tk means toolkit, inter means interface. So I'm just going to import tkinter. That's it. Now, what is the meaning of import tkinter? Let's see through the slides. So what this code will do when you write import tkinter? This line tells the computer to use tools available in the tkinter package or library. So tkinter is a package in which various tools are there. So you are telling the computer you have to use different tools available within the tkinter library so that the, it will allow the user to create a graphical window. So import tkinter means you are using something to create a graphical window. That is nothing but tkinter. After that, the next line that we are going to write is root equals to tkinter.tk. So what is that? Let's see. Now you said, hey, you have to use a library where all the tools are there. So I'm going to create a variable called root. You can give any name. So I'm simply saying root equals to simply a variable. Now in this, I'm saying the library name is tkinter. Now inside that, there could be many things. I would like to use all the tools. So for that, there is a class called tkinter. That means tkinter is an entire library. Just think, you know, it's one of the book. There's a library. There are so many books and tk means it's one of the book. So what does tk stands for? So what would happen when you write root equals to tkinter.tk? So what is the real meaning of it? Let's see it. So when you write root equals to tkinter.tk, tk is a one of the class from the tkinter library. So what is that? Don't worry about class, library, you know, you might not get a proper understanding. Just follow me along what I'm trying to explain here. So here dot tk means toolkit. tk means toolkit. Toolkit means what? Inside that we will have buttons, we will have text boxes, labels, all of this, those things, right? To design an application. Root is often used to represent the main window of the application. Now, any application you create, it will have a main window, right? Let's say you are opening Google Chrome. So, it has a main window. 
so here when i'm saying root is a just a variable okay root is a variable got permission to place all the tools from the tkinter library that means when i'm writing whatever variable you are writing generally the best practice is to say root so that is a main window so i'm saying root equals to tkinter dot tk that means all the toolkits that you have buttons and all of that right all are allowed that means i am giving permission to this root variable hey root variable now you can use the entire thing that is available in the tk class that means inside this tk whatever different gadgets are there you can use it that is the meaning of root writing root equals to tkinter dot tk now what this when you write this what it will do this tkinter will understand the user wants to create a main window and that main window can use all the toolkits like buttons and all of that so when i'm writing root equals to will now become your main background window or container so what this will become this will become your main window so what is that you know this might be slightly confusing it may not you may not may not understand it quite you know properly now look at this what is going to happen when i'm saying root equals to t into tk ensure you are putting a parenthesis okay parenthesis is highly required because it's a class we are using so parenthesis is highly required so the moment i do this and if i run it it's supposed to use the tkinter library and it should give me a blank window for the application that is the job of this line okay root means this supposed to give me a blank window now nothing is happening right because this line is getting executed so fast that i'm not able to see the application here can i see the application no now for me to see the application i'm going to simply use the variable root dot there is something called a main loop very important there is something called main loop that means i am saying hey here i am in the line number 2 it's supposed to create a blank window where i can use the toolkits buttons text boxes and all that so root is the variable which denotes everything it should create a blank window so this line will create a blank window now here i am putting in a loop so that that window stays alive that doesn't close right loop it is in a loop now if i run this so what happened you can see a simple window has been given to me where i can use the toolkits like buttons and all of that see i'm minimizing it so just by this line number 2 this is getting created and by having the loop it is it ensures it doesn't close because your python code will execute and complete right you can see it is in still in you know running mode it, it not did not stop it is still in running mode so that means it is keeping the entire execution of your codes in a loop so that your window stays alive and active so what is the meaning of this root dot main loop main loop keeps the apps window open and active by keeping it in a loop getting it so these are the three things that we saw and by just by running it let me run it again let me let me stop it if i run it again what is happening i got this window now there are many question that comes to our mind rakesh you have created a very simple window right very simple window you have created now how do i use the text boxes how do i use the buttons inside it how do i give some title i see something called tk i want to give my own application title so how to design all of this is something remains as a question so let's watch my next video where i'm explaining everything once you have understood this specific code rest of the things will become very easy so let's recap tkinter means is just a library which contains lot of toolkits to design an interface when i'm saying root equals to this root becomes our main window or the background window something like this right this is our main window so it becomes the background window for the application tkinter dot tk means toolkit i am using all the, i can use all the toolkits in this root root means this is the root okay this is this becomes your root and inside that i am getting permission by lining writing this line tkinter dot tk where i can put all my buttons then i am putting in a loop so that this window remains active getting it so all of this important points we have learned now the next thing we are going to move how to write a title how to how to use some text boxes where user can type how do i create a button where i can submit some data right these are the next things coming in the series so please continue to watch and once you have completed the video 
please do comment done okay simply type done so that i understand people are watching it and getting value from the videos that i'm creating please do write done thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in the next content do not forget to give it a like subscribe and share with your friends let's meet once again in our next content